Hey, now it's time for the exponent quotient rule. And we're gonna have to combine a couple of things we've learned so far to do this. So we know from the last lesson that x to the cubed is x times x times x, great, no problems there. x to the fifth is x times x times x times x times x, blah, 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 did I, did I say that? I think I said five of them. Anyways, it's five x's. But we want to eliminate like terms here because that's what we do in, in elimination. But x to the cubed and x to the fifth are not like terms because their exponents are different. So what we got to do is take this x to the fifth and recombine it so that, so that we have the x cubed, which is what we're looking for, so that we can eliminate it. I know, this is like the culmination of a lot of stuff. So the like terms we're looking for are x cubed and x cubed. So we need to get, we need to pull it out of the bottom. I'm going to do that by distributing, oh, oh, no, see, I need to get x cubed, not x to the fourth. So we're going to bring 3 over there, 3 over there, and then eliminates. And that's all the quotient rule is. You're just chaining the x's in the correct amounts so you can eliminate them.